Hello YouTube, Rocky here again. Welcome to another sort of how-to video. This one's about getting older Amiga games to work on newer Amiga games. So by that I mean games that work on the 500, 500 plus, working on like a 1200, 600, something like that. So they also do different kickstart ROMs. Now the 500 had 1.2 in the early days, then 1.3. Then the 500 plus moved to 2.2 well, 2 basically, same as the 600. And the 1200 has version 3 and sometimes 3.1. Basically, some really early games won't run on Workbench, well, quite a lot of them won't run on 3, and even still, some of them won't run on 2. So there are two options to get around this. Now, if you have, say, a 500 right, with 1.3 or 500 plus 1, uh, 2, and you want to get other games to work, you can get what's called a ROM switcher. Basically, here is Kickstart 1.3. That's on a single chip. Now, I pull this out my Amiga 500. My 500 is now running 2.4 at the moment. Well, 2. Version Kickstart 2.4. It's from an Amiga uh, 500 Plus, actually. You can get what's called the ROM switcher, where it has both these connected at the same time. And you just, you know, control, delete, and flip a switch, or even automatically now. And the way well, you play all the games. Now, on the 1200, the kickstarts are not one chip, they are two. So, again, the same options. You can either pull both the chips and have a switcher, or you can have... Or you can have this method. This method is not 100%, but it does work quite well. So, the moment my 1200 switched off, it's running standard uh, kickstart 3. I'm about to try and play Switchblade 2, so disk in the drive, power up the machine. Let's see what happens, shall we? comes up there. Reading the disc. Turn up the volume about here. And nothing. The machine has crashed. We're not to read the disc. Not so good, is it? Right, so we round that. I'll basically pull this disc, put in this disc, I don't know if you can see it, it's called Relo Kick. This was given away on floppy disks, on magazines, you can download it and copy it, and copy it across using that method in my previous video. Now this is a later version than the one I've used to use. Basically this downgrades the kickstart so you can play older stuff. This one also slows down the CPU as well, which earlier versions of this one didn't do, so... So, load left mouse button. Loading the kickstart file. This disk's from 94, which is way back when. So, picking it up, pull out the disk. Uh, you notice it's green, that means it's the, ca the CPU still running at the normal speed. Hit F1. Back to the old familiar Kickstart 1.3 workbench startup screen. So, let's try Switchblade 2 again. So, same as before. Let's see if this goes any further. More than we got last time. Grab the joystick. Switch blade. So push the fire button. Bit more loading.
Board loading still. This is running with a floppy disk. And we're playing Switchblade 2. Just pause it here for PC. Right, this method, while easy and it does work, has a couple of drawbacks. Not all games work. Lotus 2 is one that springs to mind that just does not work. That needs Kickstart 2 or Kickstart 1.3. Plus, also, because when I'm doing it, I can't access my hard drive because it's obviously running a different Kickstart. So, any games on my hard drive won't play, which is a bit of a nightmare. But, yeah, um, it's called Relo Kick. Yeah, Google it. It's freely available. It's freely available back in the 90s and it's freely available now. You either people are selling it on eBay or you can just download it. Copy it across using the um, copying method of my previous video there. But thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Bye bye.